Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Learning Online YouTube channel and today in this series I am going to discuss about the analysis of the safety factor of dam. This is the first video of this series and later I will load four more videos in which I will again discuss about the how to analyze the safety factor of dam and the dam con condition will be different and this concept is essential for both whether you are analyzing the safety factor of dam or the retaining wall because the purpose of dam and retaining wall are quite similar to one another like dam is constructed to hold back the water while the retaining wall is constructed to hold back the soil dam comes or it faces the hydraulic pressure whereas the retaining wall faces the uh, uh, soil pressure as well as the hydraulic pressure so the concept which I am going to discuss in this video is going to be applicable for retaining wall analyze retaining wall also whether and while analyzing the safety factor okay so here you can see like uh, we have we are asked to analyze the safety factor of the dam for retaining overturning and sliding condition there are two condition in which the dam could fail that is sliding condition means it will be displaced from the original position where it was constructed and second one is overturning condition overturning condition means the dam could if the hydraulic pressure or uplift pressure which is exerted by the uh, water which is uh, seeping under the dam due to the uh, uh, permeable surface can uplift turn this uh, dam upside down okay so we have to analyze whether this dam is safe or not in this question for this problem use the friction factor we have pro already provided the friction factor that is f equals to 0 0.75 between the dam and the surface material we are also provided with the unit weight of water and the concrete that is gamma w which is unit weight of water that is 10 kN per cubic meter also the unit weight of concrete is 24 kN per cubic meter now we are asked to calculate the factor of safety against sliding and overturning without water on the downstream side means the, uh, in this condition this is suppose this is case a1 and in case 1 there is just water on the downstream side no water on the upstream side and in the upcoming lecture i will discuss about the how to uh, do the analysis of the safety factor when there is some amount of water on the downstream side also so without any further delay let's get started So to begin the solution of this uh, numerical what we will need to do we have to do some basic changes in this structure that is we have to split this whole structure into different portions. So I am going to do that suppose I am going to uh, they take this upper portion as uh, weight w1 and let the second second portion this second lower portion of the dam be weight w2. Similarly, this water it will also exert some pressure on this portion of the dam. So let this be uh, V1 vertical pressure. Similarly, now time to dis discuss about the hydraulic pressure which is exerted by the water. So what happens here when the dam is constructed, the water is uh, hold back on this side. So what happens? This water also exerts some horizontal pressure. So uh, I will represent it as fh this water which is hold back represents some pressure which is represented as fh in this numerical i have represented this so what happens again we have read this line that is material below the dam is permeable material below the dam is permeable means water is also passing from the lower portion of the dam that is from the soil because the soil is permeable so water is coming out from the here so what happens here when the uh, when the water is seeping from the seeping from the soil below the dam it exerts some upward pressure on the dam that is uplift pressure so here the maximum amount of water is uh, hold here so maximum pressure is faced by this portion so it happens like this here we are doing the diagram first so what happens the maximum pressure is held uh, here and we represent this portion and what happens when the water travels uh, under the dam the pressure keep, keeps on decreasing and it's finally when the water is released here the pressure becomes zero so th that is the reason it uh, it takes a triangular form and i'm going to represent this uplift pressure as f uplift up okay uplift pressure as f up again 
what happens this I, I already told you that water is uh, applying some horizontal pressure on this portion of the dam so what happens here also the press there will be formation of the diagram for the dam for the horizontal pressure sorry for the horizontal pressure and it will also take the triangular form because on the water when the water water pressure increases with the depth so here the pressure will be maximum and on the top pressure will be lower so now what will be the value of this base in these two sections see for this section we have the height as 10 and 2 total is 12 because water is actually like this from here so it will be gamma means unit weight of water gamma w times h height how what is the height of the water column so it is 10 plus 2 so 12 times gamma w similarly this span is already 12 and here the water is traveling at 12 meter distance 12 meter distance uh, so this is this height will be 12 meter and here also again unit weight of water because this uh, portion this is due to the uplift pressure exerted by the water so gamma w times again height of water column is again because water is exerted from uh, exer moving from this section and this end so here the water is exerting pressure at this point and the height of water is 10 and to 12 so gamma w times 12 again here now let's calculate the weight of each and every unit of this diagram so first of all we will calculate the weight w1 writing solution solution and weight w1 so w1 will be area times unit weight and of unit thickness we are taking unit thickness so that the calculation becomes easier so what happens this is area area of this upper section is going to be 3 times uh, 10 and to 12 so 3 times 12 is the area of the section multiply by unit thickness means 1 and this is concrete so unit weight of concrete is 24 here so 24 3 times 12 times 1 times 24 1 is unit thickness of the dam similarly w2 will be w2 w2 is 12 times 2 so area is 2 times 12 times thickness is 1 times 24 now vertical force fv vertical force this is fv vertical force vertical force means this area times unit thickness times unit weight of water because this portion is also exerting pressure or force on this portion of the dam so this will also come into action so fb vertical force due to water is going to be 6 means base times height is 10 times unit thickness times unit weight of water this is vertical force now uplift pressure exerted by the water below the dam so uplift pressure see how we are going to calculate the uplift pressure this is triangular because this uplift pressure this uplift pressure is form have formed the triangular form so we have to calculate the area of the triangle first so half times base base is gamma w times 12 so gamma w means 10 times 12 times again height is 12 area times unit thickness and times uh, unit weight of water unit weight of water is 10 sorry we have already done this see we do not need to multiply this with 10 we have area half times base gamma w into 2 well into height and unit thickness is 1 Aro, f horizontal so f horizontal is again half times base base is gamma w into 2 well 10 and 2 12 so gamma w means 10 times 12 base times height is height is again 10 and 2 12 and of unit thickness this is also unit thickness so we have to do the final calculation here so on solving this we will get 864 kilonewton 576 kilonewton 600 kilonewton and this is going to be 720 kilonewton again 720 kilonewton now we will do the factor of safety against sliding so factor of safety against sliding and the formula is f times summation v upon summation h means f is frictional factor so frictional factor is 0 0.75 so 0 0.75 and this is sliding so 
how I already told you at the beginning of this video that dam sliding condition will be dam will slide display get displaced from this original position. So uh, we are what why we are doing doing this? See, uh, this is F is frictional factor, but summation vertical force upon horizontal force. Vertical force means all the force that is acting downward, and horizontal force means all the force that is acting horizontally means uh, vertical force is trying to uh, keep the dam in this original position and horizontal force will try to displace uh, take this dam uh, from left to right so uh, this is that is what we are doing so you can see that w1 is vertical force because w1 is acting downward so we are going to add all the vertical force on the numerator so 864 plus again w2 is also uh, downward for acting downward so 576 plus fb this is also vertical force vertical force added by this water column so plus 600 okay and this uplift pressure uplift pressure water is pushing the dam upward so upward is it will get minus 720 this is for the vertical force there is no any other vertical forces now and one is horizontal force horizontal force is 720 so on solving this we will get factor of safety against sliding equals to 1.37 for the given dam condition now what were, what does the uh, code says like code says that factor of safety equals to f frictional factors times summation b means sum of vertical force upon sum of horizontal force should be greater than or equal to 1.33 that is acceptable okay so this if if our factor of safety comes above this means that is acceptable acceptable so what we got that uh, we got here 1.375 which is greater than 1.33 so this is acceptable range means the dam is in safe condition that can be accepted this design condition can be accepted for this dam it says that now again what it says that if it is greater than or equal to 5 which we didn't go, got here so although that uh, that is this condition is fine for this dam again now we have done this for the sliding condition again we will do the check for the overturning condition now here comes the factor of safety against overturning so here are some few calculations and understanding which uh, for which i will need to need a diagram to explain so i will be explaining here and we have the formula for factor of safety against overturning that is summation moment of resistance upon summation moment of overturning means what forces are going to resist the overturning of the dam while what forces are going to what force or moment yeah moment are going to overturn which how this is going to calculate to be calculated see here we have first force is w1 and w1 is acting downward so what happens whenever the dam is overturned it will be overturned from this this point like this way it will move this way so this w1 is trying to re, re, uh, like resist the overturning second similarly w2 is also trying to resist the overturning while f1 sorry v1 vertical force is also this portion of water is also going to resist the overturning while the uplift pressure is going to overturn the dam horizontal force is going to overturn the dam so how we are going to do this see here first let us take into consider the resisting resisting forces resisting forces is w1 and i have calculated the value of w1 as 864 864 and for calculating the moment we know that force times perpendicular distance so this is force times perpendicular distance means distance up to this point from the point which where it is overturn so see here this distance is 3 plus half of this 3 so 3 plus 1.5 half of 3 is 1.5 so 1.5 because this w1 is actually at uh, representing the cg of this section at the center of gravity of this section this w1 so we are going to take the distance uh, like it is more turned from here so force is this and perpendicular distance is this so distance is going to be 4.5 that is resisting again for w2 w2 is also acting at the cg of this lower section at the cg center of gravity of this lower section and from here it is going to be act as the half of this 12 meter so it will be 576 times half of 12 is 6 plus another resisting force is this vertical force due to this water column so fb vertical force is 600 
times distance up to the CG of this point is going to be 3 plus this 3. 3 plus 3 plus half of this 6 meter means 3 plus 3 6 and half of this 6 is 3 so 9 meter these all are resisting force. Now time for the overturning forces. So overturning forces is this uplift water and this horizontal force. So first let us take into consideration this uplift force. So uplift force is we have F uplift equals to 720. 720 times perpendicular distance see how this is a uh, triangular portion so the cg of this triangle is will act somewhere between this point c what happens uh this is going to overturn the dam here and we are calculating the moment from this point so what happens the cg from this point from this point will be at distance uh 2 by 3 times 12 meter and if we are calculating cg from this point if the dam were to overturn from this side so it will be 1 by 3 times l so l is 12 meter so that is how we do uh, let me do one more draw one more diagram and from there it will be clear how uh, how i remember this see this is the heavier portion so heavier portion and if we are uh, taking calculating moment from this side so cg will be at distance 2 by 3 times l and if again this is triangle this is triangle and if we are drawing calculating moment from this point so it will be at 1 by 3 times l this is how we do so this is how we do and how we remember this this is heavier portion so uh, if the triangle is moving so it will require more force so i will do 2 by 3 times l if uh, this triangle is moving from the, about this point so here it is lesser 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 smaller portion smaller section means it will require less force so 1 by 3 times l this is how i remember so what we will have uh, 720 means 2 upon 3 times l is 12 again for this triangle for this triangle this is moving like this way so means we have we are this is going to this triangle is going to rotate this way so it will be again plus and horizontal force is 720 again 720 times 1 upon 3 times 1 upon 3 times again 12 so on solving this we will get some value so this is what i did uh, 720 times 2 by 3 times 12 and 720 times 1 by 3 times 12 now solving this we will get the value of factor of safety of overturn so on solving this we will get 1.475 again if we uh, discuss about the code so it says that factor of safety against overturning it must be i did a bit mistake here uh, sorry for that factor of safety against sliding sliding is 1.33 acceptable and 2 is desirable 2 is the perfect one similarly for overturning it says that summation moment of resistance upon moment summation moment of overturning equals to or greater than or equal to 1.25 which is it is so it is acceptable and if it were less than or if it were more greater than greater than or equal to 1.5 then it is desirable so it was about the analysis of the factor of safety of the dam in the next video i will discuss about how to do the analysis when there is some amou amount of water on the upstream side of the down also water or upstream side of the dam also so see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself